Hi, it's Rod. This one's called God Always Says I Love You. God always says I love you to us. At the moment of our birth, now, and forever. God is saying to us, I love you during our worst times of sinning against him I love you if we choose to go to hell he says I love you God never says to us I hate you The devil does, God doesn't. The devil tries to tell us that God says that, but he doesn't. In a vision recently, Jesus appeared to me and said to me, I love you, Rod. The vision was so real and I was so overwhelmed with feelings of love when he said it. I started to think in my mind, what did I do recently to uh, deserve this? I want to do it again so I can feel this all the time. So I asked Jesus, why do you say you love me? And Jesus replied, because I am love. Then Jesus said to me, I always love you, Rod. I never stop loving you. My love is unconditional for you, Rod. I loved the whole world of sinners so much that I died on a cross for them all. The problem with you or others believing that I am always saying I love you to you is that you choose to believe in a lie of the devil that my love for you must be earned for you. If you would choose to believe in my truth about my unconditional love for you then you could hear me saying to you, I love you, Rod, all the time. It is true that I hate unloving sinful behavior when you do it, and I try to help you to stop doing it if you want me to, because I love you. I love sinners, Rod, and I try to help them to stop sinning. I'm not waiting for them to be perfect before I help them or love them. You won't be able to love and obey me to be able to act loving like I want you to until you first choose to believe how much I love you. You will love me with all of your heart only when you start to choose to believe that I love you with all of my heart. Stop doubting in my love for you, Rod, and start to believe in it instead. When the devil comes along and says, oh, problems are happening, you're too sinful, God doesn't love you. Remember, I love you, Rod. <laughs> I died for sinners. I love the whole world. I don't like sin, but I love the people I make. This is why I visited you in a vision and said, I love you, Rod. Once you learn my truth about my unconditional love for you, I want to send you out to try to teach others about it also. This is what I like to try to say to you, the one who loves you the most, Jesus. 
my prayer for people watching this video is that <laughs> you could begin to hear God say to you I love you all the time like I'm learning to that you would start to understand God's great unconditional love for you too good father in heaven please help the people who watch this video hear you and, and your son Jesus saying I love you to them all of the time in the name of your good loving son Jesus I ask you to says that there is nothing that you can do that would make him love you more. There is also nothing you can do that would make him love you less. He loves you because he loves you, 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 because that is what he is like. It is his nature to love. And you will always be the beloved. And his love is unchanging. And he loves you a hundred percent. He won't love you any better when you become better. He loves you a hundred percent right now. And even if you have no plans to become better, He will still love you 100%. Because He loves you, because that's the way that He is. And even if you don't want to change, He will love you 100%. Even if you have no plans to walk with Him, He will love you 100%. Because that's His nature. He loves all the way, all the time. His love is unchanging. What will change, says the Lord, is your ability to receive my love. And this evening, I want to cram some more of that ability inside you. So I challenge you, says the Lord, open your heart to me. Open your heart to me. And you will receive more of my love than you've ever experienced before. I dare you, says the Lord. Come on. Open your heart to me. Give me your heart. Give me whatever your obstacle is. I'll take it. I'll remove it out of the way. Because I love you as you are right now. I love you 100% as you are right this moment. I love you as you are. So be loved. You are the beloved. It is your job, says the Lord, to be loved outrageously. It is why I chose you. That is why I set my love upon you. That you would live as one who is outrageously loved. That you would receive a radical love. So radical, it will blow all your paradigms of what you think love is. And no, says the Lord, I will love you outrageously all the days of your life. Because I don't know how to be any different. This is who I am. And this is who I will always be. This is the I am that I promised you. I am he that loves you outrageously. And you may love me back with the love that I give you. You may love me back outrageously with the outrageous love that I bestow upon you. And know this, says the Lord, you can only love me as much as you love yourself. So my love comes this evening to set you free from yourself. To set you free from how you see yourself. To set you free from the smallness of your own thinking about yourself. My love comes to set you free from rejection and from shame and from low self-esteem and from despair and from abuse. Because when I look at you, says the Lord, I see something that I love. 
I see someone that I can love outrageously. And I have so much to bestow upon you, so much to give you, so many places to take you in my heart. But you can't go there unless you allow me to love you. And my love for you will break every barrier, bring every wall crashing down. And know this says the Lord, my love damages fear. My love hates fear. My love will fight fear. It will fight fear in you. It will fight fear around you. And if you have fear this evening, says the Lord, then know that you have a treat in store. Because my perfect love casts out fear. There is no fear where I am present. Because my love casts out fear. Beloved, you are my beloved. You are my beloved. And in my love, I want you to feel good about yourself. The words you are about to experience are true. They will change your life if you let them. For they come from the very heart of God. He loves you. And He is the Father you have been looking for all your life. This is His love letter. My child, you may not know me, but I know everything about you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered, for you were made in my image. In me you live and move and have your being. For you were my offspring. I knew you even before you were conceived. I chose you when I planned creation. You were not a mistake. For all your days are written in my book. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together in your mother's womb and brought you forth on the day you were born. I have been misrepresented by those who don't know me. I am not distant and angry, but am the complete expression of love. And it is my desire to lavish my love on you, simply because you are my child and I am your father. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could, for I am the perfect father. Every good gift that you receive comes from my hand, for I am your provider and I meet all your needs. My plan for your future has always been filled with hope, because I love you with an everlasting love. My thoughts toward you are countless as the sand on the seashore, and I rejoice over you with singing. I will never stop doing good to you, for you are my treasured possession. I desire to establish you with all my heart and all my soul, and I want to show you great and marvelous things. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. Delight in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. For it is I who gave you those desires. I am able to do more for you than you could possibly imagine. For I am your greatest encourager. 
I am also the Father who comforts you in all your troubles. When you are broken hearted, I am close to you. As a shepherd carries a lamb, I have carried you close to my heart. One day, I will wipe away every tear from your eyes, and I'll take away all the pain you have suffered on this earth. I am your Father, and I love you even as I love my Son Jesus. For in Jesus my love for you is revealed. He is the exact representation of my being. He came to demonstrate that I am for you, not against you, and to tell you that I am not counting your sins. Jesus died so that you and I could be reconciled. His death was the ultimate expression of my love for you. I gave up everything I love that I might gain your love. If you receive the gift of my son Jesus, you receive me. And nothing will ever separate you from my love again. Come home and I'll throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen. I have always been father. And will always be father. My question is, will you be my child? I am waiting for you.